This is the sin that makes narcissists the worst kind of humans. All of you, I recognize that unraveling the mysterious characteristics of narcissistic individuals can be a tremendously difficult endeavor, particularly when such people become part of your inner circle. The charisma and captivating appeal of these individuals might attract us initially, yet deep inside, they have an unquenchable desire for adoration and an alarming lack of compassion for others. Having witnessed the agonizing accounts of those entangled with the narcissist, I know the emotional upheaval that ensues. The suffering, bewilderment, and hindered growth leave lasting impacts on their lives. We must comprehend that engaging in these relationships can be similar to traversing hazardous terrain fraught with obstacles. The scriptures say that we do not walk this journey alone. Our Heavenly Father grants us the fortitude and discernment to identify the disharmony within these narcissistic bonds. In such relationships, justice can be concealed and blame often unjustly targets the innocent. Therefore, let us remain steadfast in our beliefs, trusting God's divine promise that although we may face doubts and be swayed by the intentions of others, our Lord will guide us through the tempest to a place of inner tranquility and restoration. My beloved brothers and sisters, during moments of despair, it is vital to embrace this truth. You do not deserve the anguish imposed upon you. Narcissistic behaviors stem from a severe disorder that impedes their capacity for empathy and accountability. As you embark on your path to healing, remember that brighter days are not only attainable, but promised by our Lord. I realize that a sense of uncertainty and confusion may persist as you seek solace and recovery following the mistreatment of a narcissist. But fear not, for our Heavenly Father has provided abundant resources and guidance. Rely on the unwavering support of your friends, faithful allies, and professional counselors who are prepared to accompany you on this journey. It is crucial to understand that breaking free from the grasp of a narcissist may seem like a complicated labyrinth of pain and confusion. However, the Lord has provided you with the discernment and resilience to comprehend the intricate nature of such harmful relationships. A faith that you are not to blame and lean on the unwavering support of those around you as you embark on a journey of healing and spiritual rejuvenation. It is evident that facing the turbulence of a narcissist's connections brings about emotional turmoil, leading to uncertainty, hurt, and stagnation within our souls. Please know that the responsibility for their hurtful actions does not reside with you, and you do not walk this path alone, as others share this journey with you. Finding a way through the inequity and dysfunction within such close bonds requires immense courage and perseverance. Narcissists' inability to face up to their wrongs adds an additional weight upon their struggling partners. The trickery they employ can fracture your sense of reality and cause emotional distress. However, we can hold on to hope through our God, who continues to guide and support us in times of darkness. Let us recall that a narcissist's heart lacks empathy and compassion, which drives them to see others as mere pawns to serve their selfish cravings. We are children of God, loved and guided by Him. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Therefore, when troubled, let us look to our almighty God for strength and reassurance, knowing that we are loved unconditionally. Let us find comfort and healing in his infinite love, renewing our spirits to triumph over the obstacles created by the actions of narcissists. Initially, breaking free from the chains of a narcissistic relationship can leave one feeling helpless and uncertain. However, take heart, for the Lord has provided numerous sources of support and comfort to lead you towards healing. Trust in the strength of your loved ones, cherished friends, and adept mental health professionals who are ready and willing to walk beside you on your journey to recovery. Allow the peace and grace of the Lord to strengthen your resolve as you move forward, knowing that profound solace and healing are within your reach. Focus on cultivating your own well-being and embracing the supportive community that surrounds you. Through these revitalizing resources, you will find release from the lingering effects of narcissistic abuse. Traversing the intricate scheme of the narcissist's manipulation can be a challenging and deceptive experience. Filled with an array of cruel methods, narcissists evade accountability, resulting in a unique form of chaos. Understanding the impact of these harmful maneuvers is essential as they destroy both emotional and mental stability. 
Narcissists crave power over others and disregard the pain they inflict. In times of hardship, let us turn to our Heavenly Father for guidance and fortitude. As it is written, cast your burden on the Lord and He will support you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Have faith in God's constant love, which will provide healing and release from the mental and emotional bondage imposed by a narcissist. Remember that you are not alone, and through the support of your community and faith, you will overcome these challenges. Should we dare to uncover the truth behind the wicked acts of a narcissist? Among these harmful deeds, gaslighting is one of the most treacherous as it aims to distort one's perception and tear down their understanding of reality. Driven by their selfish desires, narcissists disrespect and violate the boundaries of others, leaving emotional devastation in their wake. However, hope and healing are available for those impacted by the hold of the narcissist. By acknowledging their manipulative tactics and creating healthy boundaries, we can regain power over our lives. Let us work towards awareness and education on the perilous nature of narcissistic traits, thereby empowering others to break free from such hazardous relationships. Engage in conversations and share your experiences, as this will bring strength to yourself and other individuals on a similar journey. In times of turmoil caused by the lies of a narcissist, let us not forget that the Lord has given us authority over our lives. As we were created in His image, we possess the inherent right to lead a life that abounds in truth and love. The toxic combination of narcissism begins with a rejection of the truth. Narcissists delve into the belief of always being right, placing their needs and agendas before all else. This self-centered focus leads to emotional emptiness and hinders self-awareness, resulting in internal unrest that inflicts pain and suffering upon others. As we face these trials, let us turn to the scriptures for guidance. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. We can overcome the destructive influence of narcissism and embrace the abundant life as promised by God. Remember always that the ability to establish boundaries and reclaim personal autonomy is within your power. Do not give up control to those who seek to determine your value, devastate your self-worth, or distort your true identity. Embrace the God-given right to be treated with respect and hold steadfast to the awareness of yourself as a treasured child of God. The malicious effects of narcissism can adopt many forms. One such tactic is an attack on an individual's character, over which they have no direct control. Be assured that these harmful comments only highlight the dark nature of the narcissist, not your own. Refuse to be swayed by the deceptive temptation of allowing someone else's toxic pursuits to define who you are. We must be vigilant in examining and revealing the damaging impact of narcissism, while courageously searching for nurturing and healthy relationships. Equipped with firmness and clearly defined boundaries, let us embark on the journey towards regaining control of our lives and fully embracing our true selves, as God designed us to be. Recall the words of God, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. May we draw comfort and empowerment from our relationship with Christ as we navigate these trying experiences. My beloved brothers and sisters, let us remember this fundamental truth. The infidelity of a cheating partner does not reflect on our value or our performance. Such deceptive conduct exposes only the true nature of the perpetrator, not ours. Narcissists, with their slee ways, manipulate others' emotions without consideration for the profound consequences of their actions. An unfaithful partner, hidden beneath the veil of cheating, does not merit our loyalty, trust, or forgiveness. One telling feature of a narcissist's hurtful behavior is the absolute lack of empathy. Incapable of grasping or empathizing with others' feelings, their self-centered desires supersede all else. Exploiting your weaknesses, they ensnare and coerce you solely for their benefit, leaving only sorrow and disorder in their wake. Recognizing these unfeeling individuals is crucial. 
as it allows us to take reasonable measures to protect ourselves from their destructive influence. Frequently, narcissists refuse to acknowledge their need for support or guidance, as they perceive themselves to be faultless. It is vital to recognize that trying to change someone against their will is a pointless effort. When caught in a narcissist's grasp, our top priority should be our own well-being. We should seek wise counsel from professionals or trusted loved ones. As we keep the words of the psalmist in mind, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Let us have faith in God's love and empathy to help us navigate these challenging relationships. We are never alone on this journey, for the Lord is our refuge and our strength in our time of need. Hold on to the belief that dignity and self-worth are God-given qualities that you deserve. Reject any feelings of inferiority imposed upon you. If you are confronted with any of the four destructive characteristics of a toxic relationship, seek support and embark on a journey of recovery and transformation. It is natural to feel intense emotions such as confusion, pain, and anger when faced with betrayal and heartbreak, particularly when accompanied by physical harm. Remember that it is not your fault, and no form of mistreatment is ever acceptable. Embrace your inherent right to love, kindness, and respect. Pain or an unhealthy environment should not be tolerated in your life. Seeking expert assistance is critical when confronting the physical impact of narcissistic abuse. The deep and long-lasting wounds inflicted require time and attentive care to heal. It is normal to feel vulnerable and scared during these trying times, but know that the compassionate care of professionals will provide a secure refuge for your recovery. Do not allow yourself to harbor feelings of blame or allow isolation to impede your path to wellness. In the words of Jesus, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Have faith in God's unwavering love and his promise of comfort and encouragement during times of despair. Rely on your faith community and the strength of the Lord to aid you in conquering these trying experiences. Recognize that you are never alone in your journey towards restoration and healing. A web of deceit, constant manipulation, and the gradual decline of one's self-esteem creates a hurricane of distress that can be just as disastrous. Establish unambiguous boundaries and prioritize your well-being in all your relationships. Stand up for your right to have a partner who values your strengths and treasures your true self, bravely resisting any voices that tell you otherwise. As someone who recognizes the burdens borne by those with narcissistic fathers or family members, please accept my sincere empathy for your struggle. I'm well aware of how such influences can affect one's propensity towards physical aggression. The anguish of feeling disconnected from oneself while being confronted with a loved one's harmful actions is an incredible challenge. Remember, physical abuse must never be tolerated and safeguarding oneself in threatening situations is of utmost importance. When considering the seven sins of exploitation, it is concerning how some individuals treat others as mere objects to be exploited for their gain. Maintain firm beliefs that every person deserves respect and reverence, and that deceit or manipulation to fulfill selfish desires is entirely unacceptable. We will investigate this subject in more detail in future conversations, but for now, Consider your personal experiences and how they may encourage you to cultivate healthier and more harmonious relationships. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Trust in God's unceasing affection and grace, assured that he is with us in the quest for emotional and spiritual well-being. May you discover assurance and strength in him as you work towards healing and building robust connections.